What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith, 400, one half of straight off the Ave. Shout out my co-host, Mr. Dubbins, and this is Smith the Reacts. Got to give a shout out to the subscribers. Welcome back. And if you made it to this video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. New content every day. Now check it out, man. The homie Kanye ain't having it, bro. Kanye ain't having it, man. You know what I'm saying? We all know, man. If, well, if you don't know, Diddy tried to uh link up with Kanye recently, and Kanye was not with it, man. So without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Shout out Culture Cover. Let's go. So it looks like Diddy is desperately trying to make friends in the industry because everybody is trying to distance themselves from him. Seriously, outside of his... Look, and he just linked up with uh, Justin Bieber. I'm going to pull that video up because that looked hella crazy. But uh, let's continue. The own family, nobody in Hollywood is willing to touch him with a 10-foot pole because nobody wants to go down with him. Well, it goes without saying that Diddy is desperately in need of some good PR because his public image is in the dumps right now and has been for the past couple of months. I mean, he has been sued five times for SA and he is currently the subject of a federal investigation regarding sex trafficking. And don't even get me started on the RICO charges that he is currently facing because that means the Feds are going back years in his history to investigate his other alleged crimes, including the 1999 club sh So yeah, his image is in the pits and he needs to do some damage control ASAP. This is why he is reaching out to major celebs with public backing, including Kanye West. One thing about Kanye is that he has the massive support of the people. I mean, the industry went above and beyond to cancel him when he made some comments that were interpreted as being anti-Semitic. He was dropped by all partners he worked with, even a Adidas, which saw his net worth tank from about two to three billion to only 400 million in a couple of days. Nobody wanted to work with him and he was like an outcast in the industry at this time. Interestingly, Diddy also threw some backhanded compliments at Kanye, but it was clear as day that he was being shady. You don't have to condemn Kanye or cancel him. For, you don't have to go crazy. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, you gotta be you, you, you got to understand, like, your action. Everybody thought that Kanye's career was over since the big names in Hollywood distanced themselves from him. But in less than two years, Kanye revived his Yeezy brand and even went ahead to drop an album that debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 200, which is crazily impressive. This explains why Diddy is desperate to be besties with Kanye again, because he needs Kanye's support, as well as some tips and tricks to help him navigate being canceled. But it is worth noting that their situations are super different. While Kanye was canceled for allegedly making some insensitive comments that were insensitive and wrong, he wasn't sued for SA and other crazy things like Diddy was. So there's that distinction. Anyway, according to new reports, Kanye West blew up on Diddy for trying to recruit him and use him to fix his image. Diddy was at Rolling Loud Fest a couple of days ago where Kanye was also performing. According to reports, he and his son Justin were backstage during Kanye's performance watching. And Diddy apparently told some people that he wanted to meet with Kanye after his performance and to help him get in contact with Kanye. But not only did Kanye not want to meet Diddy, he also reportedly blew up at the thought of working with Diddy. See, unlike most of us, Kanye has always known that Diddy was shady and in bed with the wrong people. During Kanye's scandal, he shared a screenshot of texts between him and Diddy where he outrightly exposed Diddy for being a slave to the execs, saying, this ain't a game. I'ma use you as an example to show the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten or influence me. I told you this was war. Now go and get you some business. Well, fast forward to today, and Kanye was proven right when we found out about Diddy's shady dealings with some of the top execs in Hollywood. One thing about Kanye, he Look. Ain't it crazy how that happens? <laughs> They threw all types of rocks at this man, and look at look look, wow, wow. He has never been caught in a lie yet. Oh, and do y'all remember his interview where he revealed that Diddy was under the control of some very powerful people in Hollywood? They can't control me. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay Z and Beyonce. 
Not all you, you, man. But they can't control me. Truth is gonna be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat mills, y'all puffies, y'all little boozies, none of these names, none of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing with, they have legal, I never kill nobody, right? I'm the pussy that never kill nobody, right? But that means I can say whatever I want and not go to jail. Isn't it interesting that Kanye mentioned that Diddy was one of the people used to control other celebs by the elites in the industry? Yeah, Kanye been telling us about Diddy for a hot minute, but we didn't put two and two together. Anyway, back to the Rolling Loud incident. According to insiders, Kanye allegedly flipped out on Diddy, accusing Diddy of trying to blackmail him. An eyewitness claimed that Kanye allegedly made mocking comments about how desperate Diddy is and how Diddy has nothing to hold over Kanye. The eyewitness added that Kanye believes that Diddy is scrambling because he knows that things are going to get worse for him from here on. Fans left comments saying, Diddy moving like a real villain. Bro trying to recruit Kanye into the Legion of Doom. Kanye is a genius. <laughs> separated himself from Jay-Z and Diddy. And Ye has seen through all these wolves. I like how he's avoiding them. Better for his mental state. But do y'all think that Kanye made the smart decision to ignore Diddy? I think it's very smart for him to ignore Diddy. You know what I'm saying? It makes all the sense in the world. And, um, you know, Diddy is definitely out here trying to recruit people. You feel me? Um, one of those people is definitely Justin Bieber. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. You feel me? Definitely Justin Bieber. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Don't this look like he patting for a wire, though? Check him out. The fat in his chest, look, slapping his chest, holding his. Man, Diddy's out here, man. Diddy's out here. Diddy's out here heavy. <laughs> He's out here heavy. He's out here riding bikes with Stevie J. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's definitely out here super heavy. Hold up. Where's the riding bikes with Stevie J? Let me pull him up on the screen. Riding bikes with Stevie J. Check him out, folks. Check him out. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. <laughs> Diddy out here, y'all. I love it. Love, man. Diddy is out here in the street. Stevie J. I don't know, man. I feel like he's just taking advantage of all the uh, all the press. You know what I'm saying? He's taking, you know, he really 48 laws of power with this ish. She's taking all that, you know, press. And he's he's using it to his advantage right now. Plus, if he finna go down, why not live it up, right? Everybody's surprised he's dancing on his deck, you know what I'm saying? He's getting it popping. If you's finna go down, bruh, would you not just indulge in what you had going on? Like, you got the house, you got the, you know what I'm saying? You're going to. Live it up till you can't live it up no more. That's just what I feel like Diddy's doing right now. Me personally, that's what I feel. You feel what I'm saying? On top of just seeing who's around him and who's like finna support him through this through these trials and these cases or whatever finna hit him, you know what I'm saying? Finna he out here just trying to live it up. But yeah, man, if you made it to this point in the video, go ahead, give us a like and subscribe. Shout out to the subscribers, man. We appreciate everybody for uh tuning in, tapping in. You feel me? Um, if you would like to donate, I mean, we don't really got. I mean, we got the cash app. It's definitely straight off the Av on cash app, but we got the super chats, super thanks. You feel what I'm saying? Or you can cop some merch, lawsourcingco.com. You feel what I'm saying? Just tap in, and um, yeah, man. The homie Smith the four hundred. This has been Smith the Reacts signing off. Y'all have a good one. Owie.